Okay, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how you'll be able to modify your Nintendo Switch for it to run custom firmware in this video on version 19.0.1. The first thing that you must do is you want to go to ismyswitchpatch.com and then you want to grab your Nintendo Switch and it will basically tell you how you got to put in your first like few digits of your uh, switch serial number which is on located on the back of your tablet you want to do that and you want to click the check button to see if your switch is patched or not if it's unpatched then that means you can continue with this guide however if it is patched then unfortunately you cannot continue with the guide however there is actually a way to bypass your patched switch into getting it uh, running into custom firmware it actually involves getting a Pico fly chip off of either like AliExpress or eBay or any other website and essentially welding it to your switch motherboard I don't know how to do any of that so I won't actually be having um, a video covering that however I could probably link um, a video down below in the description of how you could do that anyways the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the description of this video and you want to go and join my discord server that has the switch files already inside you want to go all the way to the bottom where it says modding switch files and you want to download every single one of these files you want to download tegra rcm gui version 2.6 joe.zip mama.zip and hakate anyways once you do all of that you should have your all your files right here you want to leave the Tegra RCM GUI and the Hecate untouched. However, you have your your Joe folder and your Mama folder. So, essentially, what you got to do now is you got to grab your SD card that I have right here, conveniently, and you want to actually go and plug it into your computer. If I can get it plugged in, which I did. And now you want to go back to your desktop here, and you'll notice how the USB drive is plugged in. I'm going to delete all of the files from my SD card, so that way I can prove to you guys that these are the only files that you actually need to mod your Nintendo Switch. So you want to go into the Joe folder, double click on it again, copy and paste the atmosphere and the boot folder files and paste them onto the main root of the SD card. My computer is a little bit slow today, I don't know why. But once you do that, you then want to go back and open the MAMA folder and open it again. And they have all of these files and this one folder of Switch. You want to go and actually drag them all and click copy go back to the root of your SD card and paste them all in there. And now once that is finished you wanna grab your SD card from here like so got the SD card and then you wanna put the SD card into your Nintendo Switch like so and then you actually want to grab your Nintendo Switch with a uh, USB cable here and you want to plug it directly into your computer like so and then on your main desktop again you then want to open Tegra RCM GUI under dash version 2.6 double click that and go all the way down to where it says Tegra RCM GUI open that and then you want to go into settings and you want to click install driver I already installed my driver basically when you click it there will be like a pop-up screen with a uh, wizard you just want to um, click through it and then install it and then it'll say like that the wizard has completed and then you want to actually go to payload and assuming that you got your Nintendo Switch into recovery mode, whether it would be using uh, a piece of tin foil, putting it under your right Joy-Con, or using an RCM jig that you could buy 
like typically anywhere on the internet for like pretty cheap like maybe like three bucks maybe it will then show that the RCM is okay on this little mini um, icon here so once you did that all you gotta do is click this folder and then you want to click Hakate double click that and that will be your payload after that what you want to do now is you want to actually inject the payload and I will show you what's gonna happen when you do that it'll show a check mark and then it'll give you this little screen on your switch saying that enter date and time it doesn't really matter but yeah um, once you get onto this screen here you want to click launch and then you want to click CFW Atmosphere NX version 1. Click that one. And then it should show the switch actually launching into um, custom firmware. It shouldn't take too terribly long to get on. But yeah, there you go. It um, has now entered custom firmware. You can tell it has entered custom firmware if you go to system settings and go all the way down to system it'll say current version with 19.0.1 or 0.0 I'm currently on 0.0 with AMS 1.8.0 which is atmosphere 1.8 and then to really check that you have um, the custom firmware on you actually want to click on album and hold R the R button and then it will show your homebrew menu on here and now I'm gonna be making another video in the future on how you can actually go and put your own homebrew menu apps on this screen because currently there's nothing on here so yeah no I'll see you guys in the next video